Greetings, adventurers, and welcome to the Adventure Incorporated podcast. I am your dungeon master. My name is Anthony Reed. This is episode 90. And once again, uh, it's part of the Morevia story arc, and things are a little weird. Bear with us. Of course, once again in this episode, unfortunately, we don't have Scarpin, which is a real bummer. Uh, but we, I think this is, uh, is going to wrap it us, up for us, and I think that this was uh, valuable to include. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get uh, some, some value out of it, and, uh, and we'll move forward starting next week. But uh, I, I didn't want to let this go. I, I think this was such a cool way to bring all of this stuff in. I, I, you know what? Thank you to the patrons. Patreon.com slash Adventure Inc. for being um, amazing. They're the best. And uh, they support the show. And you can too at Adventure Inc.com. Nope. Well, yeah. I mean, you could go to Adventure Inc.com and there'd be links there. But really what I meant to say was Patreon.com slash Adventure Inc. You could also go buy some clothes at, the, at Adventure Inc. Pod.com uh, in the shop. That's a possibility. That would support the show. You could come check us out when we do our Twitch shows and throw us your fake Bezos money. Don't spend real money on Twitch to, to support the show. But if you are a Prime member, you have fake Bezos dollars and you can give those to us and we'll be happy to make them into real dollars eventually. Um, all those things are ways that you can support the show. But the best way, the very best way to support the show is to just tell other people to listen to the show. Get them to come and be part of the community of uh, people we've built and to just be part of the show, to listen, to talk about it. That's what we really need from you. So go and, and spread the word. All right, let's get started. Nobles and farmers, knights and scoundrels, gather round, gather round to hear a tale of excitement and mystery. Brave adventurers facing grave dangers. Billroth, the ranger. She's a grimalkin, that's, uh, but that's understood. No pets allowed, even though she's not a pet. I will wait outside. Everyone, if anyone needs anything, I am outside. Scarpin, the cleric. Should I just try and snipe them from over here? Yeah, okay. I did say they were as good as dead. I would hate for, for my, you know, to break my word on our first contract as Adventure Incorporated. Ellery, the bard. We would want you to leave this warehouse. He points behind him. Mm -hmm. Church! Oh, sorry. We want you to leave this church. Deerin, the wizard. He say you no worship Shattered Fang. Yeah, man, he's, like, super wrong. We love Broken Tooth. Uh, Shattered Fang, man. Prepare yourselves, for these are the tales of Adventure Incorporated. And don't celebrate yet, man. We gotta... Can you can you fix this? And he holds up, like, half of Tessa. <laughs> Bill Roth picks up the other half. Uh, do we just, like, push it together? <laughs> Bel Belroth, like, kind of, like motions to like push it toward like connect yeah it like with puzzle pieces <laughs> you're in piece Dude, oh i don't know who's tessa those. come on no do something no there's another set of feet here i don't know who's yeah, those fuck are those feet we don't, <laughs> don't care who's... man those aren't connected <laughs> uh okay uh it it doesn't work uh you go to cast the spell into this corpse uh and it's definitely a corpse but it's only been like it was a, a it, round and a half. It was a catastrophic. Oh, uh, yeah. Does anyone have mending? <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, okay. You know what? New <laughs> new group rule. We don't let random people join our team unless we know they're not gonna get ripped in half. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like that eliminates a lot of people. Belaroth, I can't guarantee I'm not going to get ripped in half. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, Tessa didn't have the intention of getting ripped in half. That's true. Oh, I wish Tessa was here to help me give better wording for what I mean. She would have had good wording. Oh. When we need his head. Are we sure this is that creature? I don't know, man. Snuzzglock sounds like a like a a name of a thing and not like not a, a monster. Well, 
To be specific, this is not necessarily a monster. This is indeed a humanoid. I, I would not necessarily categorize it within my field of study. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying it doesn't look like the type of thing to lead like a group of bandits, man. That's true. Um, I think this is a MacGuffin from people... Uh, a red herring, you know, not a MacGuffin. Different. No, you can solve the pro problem with this bugbear. <laughs> um, <laughs> should uh, whatever. Should we? Should we bury Tessa? That's what I was thinking. She probably had a family. It'd be like, well, like at least we should go and like bring her back. <clears throat> um. Uh, so Ellery's gonna get like a long stretch of, like, fabric, I guess. Uh, here, or, like, Ellery, take like this. A, like, gauze or... Um, Belroth takes off his cape. We need to a way to oh, transport was... her. What were you gonna do? Because was... it seemed like you had an idea. I was gonna um put her back together as much as we could. Oh, that's messed up. <laughs> well. Is it? How do you, how else know. do you transport a I've never dealt with this. <laughs> corpse. I think the whole thing is messed up, but I think presenting two halves of a body is worse than just Yeah. a semblance of What if you just wrap it in like Belrath's cloak and my cloak and like Is it is that not the idea? Bring you it had? to the morgue. I was just gonna put her like back. Like I just put her back together. What do you? I think we're overthinking this. Unfortunately, it's, it's, we need to bring her back to her family, and we just have to do it whatever way we can. I think. I think. I think Ellery's idea of wrapping her so we could is both respectable and practical. Oh, when she said put her back together, I thought we were gonna like stitch her. No, no! I just meant wrap her in a blanket. Oh my some goodness! So that she. Was a whole body instead of two. Darren, that's oh yeah, really no, we're up. on the same page. No, no, <laughs> I, I know it's fucked up. That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> yeah, Ellery, can you believe Darren? I, I just what a what a weird idea that is. I think his heart was in the right place. I think it was a, a misunderstanding. Okay. <laughs> oh, that that's good. <laughs> we need to cut this bugbear's head off first. Um, well, all right. Um, I grab the short sword from the one half of uh, Tessa and start, uh, start at it. Just start trying to do it okay. off the head. Yeah. Uh, it, like it takes you like a, like a butcher who's I've clearly dissected giant animals. This is a bit of a, a big piece of in la really the best tool for it but i know what i'm doing yeah yeah i think it probably takes you a couple of whacks but you sever the head of the bugbear oh i didn't even think he was whacking it i thought he was like sort of like surgeoning it with a giant knife around <laughs> okay it takes you a like, couple you of you know like how you peel a turkey and stuff, <laughs> like uh, snap the neck bone so he can pop it off no i don't think i've ever peeled a turkey but uh or but yeah that's fine butchered. you you <laughs> <laughs> I said peel the turkey. <laughs> <laughs> you peel this turkey, I guess, and get his head <laughs> off. <laughs> and you now have the proud owner of a bugbear head. I don't think we need it, but okay. Uh, and Darren puts it on top of the, like, Tessa's body. Like on the like whatever we're using to transport not Tessa's like body, like the sled. No, that we not like assembled. a fucking head. That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> um, Belroth looks up to the trees, uh, and holds out his hand, looking for Freya to jump down. Yeah, she does. Pets her on the head and pushes him back on her shoulder. Okay. This, this. You guys uh, make your way uh, back toward the town. Um, you get back on the road and are walking back to town when uh, in the road in front of you, there is a dragonborn and a human. Uh, it's a, a green dragonborn. And the dragonborn says, uh, yeah, you're going to have to wait right there. I'm sorry. There's a, a fee. He said we gotta like wait. There's a fee on this road, a toll you gotta pay. By whose order? 
Ah, order of the Emperor. The Emperor's road requires the Emperor's toll. Oh, man. Snozglock told us we didn't have to pay this week. Give me a per, uh, deception check. It's very good. <laughs> uh, that is going to be 12. <laughs> uh, Snozglock, don't tell no one they don't have to pay. Oh, well, maybe, maybe not you, but like, he likes us, man. Yeah, he's going to like you a lot more when you pay him. Well, uh, if you want to call him on over, then uh, we can sort this whole thing out. You, you know, know well, why don't you pay now and get your reimbursement back later? No, we'll wait. It's cool. Yeah, we, we have plenty of time. He says, you wait right there, then. <laughs> you can't pass this point unless you're paying the gold. <laughs> Would you accept the head of a bugbear? Mm, we do have that. No. I don't think we would. Well, I think our payment is settled. And he picks, uh, Belroth picks up the, the bugbear head and starts like moving towards them with the bugbear head. Because it's not Snozglock. We don't need this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> um, deception? Oh... Can it be something else? <laughs> no. <laughs> Six, then. Uh, they both draw their long swords as you approach with the head. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, man. Yeah, we're not trying to, like, cause any problems here. We're just trying to do like you told us and go back to where we came from. No problems. No problems. Just a small fee. That's all. Yep. Yeah, like we said, man, we're not going to pay the fee. And so, like, rather than, like you know, uh, keep going to where we were going. We're just going to go back to where we came from. No, no, no. This is the line, my friend. You want to walk to the town behind me. You got to pay. Well, yeah, that's where we came from, man. So, like, we're just trying to go back to where we were instead of, like, going to where we were going before. You know what I mean? I'll tell you what. We'll give you a discount on the fee. Instead of the ten gold apiece, you can pay us eight. For everybody, that's a pretty good deal. That's not a bad deal. Hmm. It's a bad deal. We can't deal. do that. That's a much worse deal. Yeah, we. Belroth puts the bugbear head back, and he's. Why did it even? We don't need this. And he like takes it out of the the <laughs> cart and puts it on the side, but beside the cart. They stand there with their arms folded. You can pay the fee, or you can turn around and walk away. So then, neither of you are Snozglock. No, we're not Snozglock. Oh. Oh, that's perfect. And then, yeah, uh, Deeran fires magic missiles yeah. off. Uh, <laughs> the like, guy that, that was, was talking. Was trying to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> this, guy, this guy fucked up. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, that's nine damage from magic missile. Damn. So uh, three magic missiles, and this the first guy just fucking crumples. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Boom, dead. Uh the uh <laughs> the one standing next to him looks at him, like looks back at you guys, draws his long sword and starts running forward. I need initiatives. Bold guy. Uh 15. The only initiative 20. number I roll. Okay. Three. Uh he's running at you, Belroth. Um but you guys get to go first. Cool. He is in melee range with you, Bel Belroth, though. Oh, okay. Important to know. Um, well, because he <laughs> ran at me, I guess I'll go <laughs> and I'll... Uh, that feels natural. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I um, took out my short sword uh, that is, well, Tess's short sword and uh, um, takes a big swing. Um, uh, 13. Uh, a 13 does not hit. And... Uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, Deeran from afar uh, will go ahead and shoot a ray of frost yep. uh, at the guy. Uh, and so, like, he blows on his hands to, like, warm them up, does a little bit of, like, rubbing them together, and then, like, Kamehameha style, like, one hand out, one hand underneath. Uh, and that is a 19 to hit. Uh, a 19 will hit. Great. Uh, so he will take two damage, and his speed is reduced by 10 feet. Great. 
Yeah, so Ellery's going to twist her chakram off of her tambourine and frisbee it at him. She's aiming for, like, getting right in that neck muscle. Yeah, yeah. Vein artery. Uh, That is a 18 to hit. Hits. And a 7 damage. Uh, Yeah, you get that thing really spinning and you let it loose uh, and it slices clean through uh, that neck muscle muscle space flies out the other side severing his head from his body she looks at Deeran and she says I know we don't need this head either but I guess we've got options now (laughs) I suppose we could just put it with the other (laughs) one do we and Deeran Deeran like (sighs) Kind of like let's <laughs> scoots it with his foot, like <laughs> over next to the bugbear one, uh, and like checks them for gold. <laughs> yeah, uh, you find uh, twenty gold. Um, Whoa! Uh, yeah, he divvies it up. Uh, Five gold, please. He does four each, uh, and then puts four gold on Tessa's body. I mean, if we just like go back to town and drop her body off, we could come back here now that we know this is the line. Mm-hmm. I think that's probably the best. I agree. Do Question, do we need these heads? Should, should we leave no. these heads at the line as a... Or is that weird? That feels What, weird. and sign them with a note that says, love the fun dead? I guess we can't just leave these here. Yeah, you're right. I, I feel like that would be... Belroth takes the heads out and like puts one, puts the the correct one near the beheaded guy, and then like takes the the bugbear head and like puts it near the other one. <laughs> he doesn't really know where to put it. <laughs> All right, let's go. Hey, Ellery. Yeah. Why do you move the heads? I think that when you are saying that we need to be respectful of of Tessa's body versus the bad guys. I think he was taking that as an indication to uh, remove their heads from near her body. Well, yeah, but like before he had taken the head out of the thing to give it to the guys and then he left it on the ground and then he picked it up from the ground where it was and like moved it over to like the other bodies. I don't know. Yeah. I was, might I might ask Belroth. I just assumed it's like a, a thing, you know, like maybe like, You've seen the way he takes notes. Everything's so structured. And I didn't know if that was like a structure thing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Deeran's going to like sidle up next to Belroth and be like, hey, man, mm. the thing with the head was pretty weird. Yeah, I know. I can't believe you just cut the head off clean. It's so it's fascinating. Oh, no, I meant like what you did with the... With the bugbear head after it was like out of the cart, and then you like moved it like near the body. It was well, you know. If I'm being honest, I don't. I I had I kind of picked up the head, wanted to move it away from Tessa's body, and then went. I don't know where to put this, and then I put it down, and then I picked it back up again, and I was like, well, now I have it again. It has to go somewhere else. <laughs> And so then I didn't really think too hard, but then I overthought about it, and I was like, well, I don't want this. So I put it near the, the, the bandit's bodies. And then I wondered, boy, that was weird. I hope no one says anything. <laughs> don't worry, man. It'll stay between us. <laughs> but yeah, it was pretty weird. <laughs> <laughs> And Deer like doesn't realize like that that could be a hurtful thing to say. <laughs> uh, just like his. Be- All right, Bel- cool. Now I know. <laughs> Bel- <laughs> Belroth feels hurt. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> he, he was really he really did something that he didn't really think too hard about, and then realized it was weird, and was hoping <laughs> no one noticed, but everyone noticed. <laughs> Not everyone. Definitely Deeran. You don't know. Maybe nobody else noticed. Maybe Deeran is Deirin. definitely the type of person who will like call out someone who trips and is trying to play it off like they didn't trip. Like, hey man, why did you walk hey funny man. like that? 
<laughs> you almost fell there, man. <laughs> Someone has a bad yeah. hair day. Uh, do you want to borrow my comb? Like, that's the kind of person. <laughs> right. Hey, man, you might want to check that out in the mirror. Um. Okay. So, uh, you are heading back into, uh, uh, town with this, uh, body on a sled. Um, you get back to, uh, yeah, you, you get back into town. So, I guess we go to the Guild of Contractual Arrangements? That's the only... Ask around, see... What was her last her name? family was? Tessa. Yeah, I mean, the only, literally, the only thing I know about her is that she dreamed of a mountain, <laughs> and she worked at the contractual op- uh, arrangement guild. She so. really loved paperwork and filing. Yep, she did. She was really good at giving it what she had. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Are Are you going into the guild? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With a with a dead body of a sled, <laughs> <laughs> wrapped up. Oh yes, can I help you? Excuse me. Um, hi. Excuse me. We're we're looking for um someone who knows a little bit about Tessa Fullrog's family. Oh yes, the Fullrogs. Yes, uh, they live just on the outskirts of town, on the way to the lake. Tessa works here, you know. We do, we do know that. Yes, she's currently on vacation. Okay, on on the way to the lake, you said. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, is, are there any other identifying features about the house that you could give us? Oh, the full rugs. Yeah, they live in a, uh, in a little farm over there. It's hard to miss. Is the full rug farm? The full rug farm okay, is thank- noted by signs and. Uh, you, uh, you should be able to tell it's the full rugs just by walking by. Thank you so much. Oh, of course. Is there anything else I can do for you people? Uh, no, thank you. Uh, all right, I'll put it in the book. Bye. He starts starts writing. Oh, wait, 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 what do you call yourselves? Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to put unknown. <laughs> Fun known. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so you head out to the Fullrog farm um, on the outskirts of town. It's just a, a quaint little family farm. Um, <clears throat> and you see uh, uh, a dwarven man standing on the front porch, uh, smoking a pipe, just staring off at the sunset. Um. <clears throat> uh, Deeran looks at Ellery. Hello, are you? Excuse me, are, are are you Mr. Fullrog? Thaddeus Fullrog, that's me. Hi. Um, hello. Um, my name is Ellery. And I was wondering if we could have a moment of your time. Um, maybe if any of the rest of your family is home. Oh, lass, it's, have- it's just me and my daughter here. Is your daughter Tessa? Aye. Um, uh, this is, um, Belroth and Scarpin and Deerin, and, um, we are very sorry to tell you that, um, we had the pleasure of knowing Tessa for a little bit of time this week, and she came out with us, uh, to fulfill one of her dreams, and I'm so sorry to tell you that she didn't make it. Oh, you fool girl. Oh, Tessa. He, uh, sits down on the, on the step in front of you, his head in his hands. He looks up and he says, is that her? It is. Yeah. I'm so sorry, Mr. Fullrog. She was, like, so brave, man. Yeah. Yeah, she was always that. Tessa had a lot of dreams. I suppose it wasn't likely we were going to ever keep her... uh, Keep her around that long, but... 
but I had always hoped that when she did go, she'd be ready. Oh, girl. She uh, was... Belroth takes out the, the short sword um, that he gave Tessa and, like, hands it to him. Says, this is, this is hers. And um, I didn't know her for very long, but she was the bravest person I've ever met. And I think you should have this. Was she... Was she excited? Was she happy? Oh my goodness. She was never been. Every single step of the way. Uh, um, these were the earnings from her, uh, her first day out. Uh, and he hands the four gold uh, to her father. He looks down at the coins. He says, I don't think so, lad. Um, he just, like, pushes them back towards you. <sighs> Our party splits things evenly, man. So split it. You did my daughter. You did her a service, even if it didn't work out. She had a spirit that couldn't be contained, and you, you accepted her. And I appreciate that. Even if I'm going to miss her soul. So God's damned much. But bless you. Bless you for doing what you could. I'll take her. I'll take her and you can... You can go about your way. Are you sure you don't want us to stick around? No. No, you've got... you got things to be doing, I'm sure. You're... You're the adventuring type. Let us worry about things like this. <sighs> and he steps down and uh, grabs the the bundle. And uh, like as he tries to move it and it's like you can kind of feel like it's in two pieces. And he's like, would you like some help? I'm I feel like it's the least I can do. You know, it's why don't why don't you why don't you just move her out back and I'll I'll get some of the townspeople to help one. It would be my tomorrow. Honor. He, I put Tessa back on the sled and like sled it around. And he goes. Here. He just goes back inside. Um, when we get, <clears throat> when it gets to the outback, uh, Belroth uh, reveals um, the sm- a small marking on his <laughs> upper collarbone of uh, the symbol from the teachings of Dime. Um, he touches it, and then he touches it to where he thinks his eyes are, uh, where he thinks Tessa's eyes are as a sign of respect. Um, and then unloads her from the sled. <laughs> <laughs> what is dead may never die. Bye! <laughs> um, yeah, as we get a little bit away, uh, he meant, like, I feel like we should, like, donate this, uh, Tessa's share to, like, kids in town or whatever. I feel we're taking it. I do, too. I'm happy to support the donation idea. Uh, you guys head back to the line. Um, as you approach, there are five people uh, over, like, basically uh, stacking up the bodies that were in the road. They're all dressed Similarly to the people who were in the road, uh, this looks like um, a female half-orc uh, and, a, and a female human, and then a male elf and a male um, a dwarf. And then the third, the last figure uh, is hulking and burly, like very big. Um, and they have uh, a wooden mask on. I bet, I bet that guy in the mask. Is who we're trying to get. Do you think they really want his head, or do you think they're just interested in his mask? Oh. I mean, if they're bad guys, it's probably his whole head. You're right. <laughs> hey, Deeran, is this the mask thing that you're always talking about? You think this is connected? And Deeran's eyes light up. <laughs> <laughs> Deeran, you always tell me it's all connected. I mean, I saw 
I saw a monster today, but it wasn't technically a monster. But now you seeing your mask thing today, we're all getting a little bit of the things we like. <clears throat> Ellery sang a song. It is all connected. You're right. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of sad stuff to write about too. Uh, the two of the guards like come in front of the hulking figure, and the hulking figure stands in the center of the road. Uh, and as you get closer, he says, "You stop." Pay now! Yeah, man, Snozglock said we could pass for free. Mm. Snozglock no say that. Yeah, he did. He told us. He said, as long as you're going this way, it's free. Mm. Snozglock no say that. Oh my gosh. Why what? do you say Snozglock say things Snozglock not say? Are you are you Snozglock? If Snozglock say thing you, you know what Snozglock is. Snozglock never say nothing, you. Uh, yeah, and as soon as he says that, Deeran fires off. Yeah. Three yeah, and as yeah. soon as he says that, <laughs> also draw my bow, shoot off a, a, a bow. Boom, boom, boom. All right, and a, an arrow. Boom. Uh, 10 damage on those magic missiles. I rolled a 20, uh, dirty 20 on my uh, longbow. That'll hit. Jeez Louise. Oh, that's the wrong dice. Oh, that's worse. Um... Eight, uh, eight damage. I uh, make them my favorite foe for the second time, and um, eight damage total. Okay. Uh, roll initiative. 14. 17. 16. Better than before. Okay. They go first. Gosh. Dang it. Uh, so, the two guards in front charge forward. The two in the back draw bows. Uh, they are, uh, begin to fire arrows off at Deeran and at, uh, Belroth. Neither hit. Woo! The arrows go sailing by. Um, the two that come charging forward run toward Ellery. Okay. Uh, along the way... Uh, <laughs> the half orc who is charging forward uh, trips on a, a root in the road and just falls flat onto the ground uh, and scrambles back up to their feet uh, but is only like halfway hey man, you gotta watch out for those branches bud uh, <laughs> bud <laughs> snozlock begins to cast a spell Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Snozlock needs only Snozlock. <laughs> <laughs> Holds his hands together, rubs them vigorously back and forth, uh, casts the magic with his hands, and Kamehameha's forth a ray of frost toward Deeran. Oh, no. Uh, let's see. 15? Uh, that'll hit. Yep. <laughs> One. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I thought it was going the other way, and I was like, "Well, he's down." Yeah. <laughs> nope. I rolled a one on this d6. It was one of those laughs that you hear that you go, "That's either really good or real bad." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, that's them. Uh, Deeran goes. Cool trick, man. And he does the same, uh, the same exact hand movements okay. and pushes out the Ray of Frost uh, back to him. Uh, that is a 16 to hit. Uh, 16 hits. Thank God. Uh, it only does three damage. <laughs> but he is slowed, uh, speed reduced by 10 feet, 10 feet. Yep, he is. I got a player's handbook here somewhere. Who's next? <laughs> so Ellery is going to um, uh, pull out her mage hand. Send my mage hand out in front to keep my real one safe and sound on my arms. <laughs> and it's gonna, she's gonna send it uh, kind of back around Snozlock's head. She's gonna try and take his mask off. Okay. Cool. Give me a sleight of hand check on removing the mask. Eleven. 
Uh, you go to grab the mask and pull it off, um, and it sort of pulls his head back with it, and he's like, oh, oh, uh, and he reaches up and is like, tugs the mask back down into place. So it, it's not off his head. Okay. Um, Freya? Watch this. And uh, uh, I shoot a bow right at the uh, distracted uh, Snozlock uh, for 15. Uh, a 15 will hit. Perfect. That would have been bad if it if I missed. Watch this. Thunk. Yeah, watch this. <laughs> shoot it into the mm-hmm. sky. Don't. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten. I was trying to shoot at the the mask. Uh, okay. Um. Yeah, I think you just hit him in the chest. Okay. Well, Thunk. still impressive, right? Right, Freya. <laughs> she nuzzles you, just oh, like thanks. you know, trying to <laughs> just trying to make you feel better. I appreciate it. <laughs> I I can I can understand that she doesn't. She's not impressed, and I'm okay with it. <laughs> I appreciate the support. <laughs> okay. Uh so then uh the creature in front of you does take a swing at you. What's your AC? Okay. Um it bounces off. Gosh. The half work gets up and uh well it's actually already got up, so it charges forward again, uh trying to close distance with Ellery. Uh it swings Ellery, you do a real nice like uh uh, back bend <laughs> as uh, the blade goes over you. Um, you dodge out of the way. Uh, the two that are shooting. Well, once again, one shoots at um, uh, Balroth. That's a hit. Oh, no. For six damage. Oof, that's a big Shunk. hit. Oh, that's half my health. The other one fires at Deeran. That's a miss. How? It rolled an eight. <laughs> it's bad. <Yep. laughs> eight plus two. Not enough. Hey, man. You were off on that one. Um, the, the creature in the mask reaches into his pouch, pulls out a tiny diamond, runs it across the top of his fingers and then it uh, centers into the middle of his palm and he holds out his hand and a orb of cold energy blasts off toward Deeran. It's a chromatic orb. Oh god. Mm. It hits. This might be it. That's a Roll D. D10, right? Uh-huh. Might be the second uh, character split in twain today. Four damage. Never mind. Oh. I want you to look at a D. Looks- I want you to look at a D10 and see where the four is, and what it's right next to, and what I bounced onto like three times in that <laughs> roll. <laughs> I don't like that. Uh, the best part is either side of that four would have killed me. <laughs> <laughs> Landed just just where you needed it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, Deeran looks bad, y'all. Uh, he gets hit by that cold. The like, the ice like sprays up around him, uh, and like shards like pierce his skin, uh, and he starts like leaking out uh, pretty bad as it like starts to dissipate. Oh man, that's them. Ellery is gonna run up to Deeran uh, and put her hands. On his temples. Uh, fights aren't easy. Words can, wounds can kill. But if I can help it, none of them will. And she channels cure wounds into him. And why can I never understand a D8? What a D8 looks like. <laughs> oh. A question I would like myself Nine. also to know why I can't either. <laughs> I'm full. Uh, Deeran, like, the, like, light washes over him, uh, and he is, like, completely, uh, back to normal again. Uh, he meant thanks. 
You're welcome. Uh, and he swings his arms up in the air, uh, twists them around his head, and the bell forms again. Uh, and it rings at the same pace, uh, at the same tempo as uh, as Ellery's song. Uh, and so the uh, the masked man will have to make a wisdom save. He failed. Yeah, let's go. Uh, eight damage. That's a hefty one. Because it's a uh, 1d12. Toll the Dead is brutal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Toll the Dead level, is hefty. It's 2d12. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, that was second round, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So uh, Start a second yeah, round. So yeah. uh, Belroth tries to redeem himself in the eyes of his, of his loyal companion Freya and tries to take a second shot at the mask. Uh, uh, that's a no. That is definitely a no. What'd you roll? I rolled a... Uh, uh, is an 11 good? You fire off uh, an arrow, and it thunks directly into the wooden mask, um, which seems to have done its job. Right? <laughs> right, Freya? Huh? What do you she think? She looks much less impressed this time, because <laughs> he didn't, he didn't do anything. Like, the creature's still there, like... I, I, uh, it was a hard target. I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> uh okay so i guess they take their turns <laughs> they, i mean um, if you guess they don't have to <laughs> so another uh another volley of arrows come flying in one at uh bell roth one at Deeran. uh so the one that fires at Deeran, uh the arrow sails through the air it doesn't get anywhere near Deeran because it slams into the back of the half orc that is attacking Ellery. Uh, <laughs> and he turns like, oh! uh, and the, the person's like, the dwarf's like, sorry. Okay. Uh, um, and then the, the half orc tries to swing at Ellery. That is a hit. Ow. For six damage. Ow. Oof. And the other one tries to swing at Scarpin. That's a miss. And then uh, another rubbing of the hands and another ray of frost, this time at Ellery. Um, he, he did not like that he got that uh, Ellery healed up Deeran. So he's going to kill the healer or try. You sure he is? fails. He misses. Oh. Emphasis on try. Woo. Uh, that's them. Um, when I, if I have cast Mage Hand, um, is there a, is it like a bonus action to do something with it? Or is it still a full action? It says to use your action. Uh, Gebetto was able to do it as a bonus because of his, like, thief because it, level or whatever. His okay. arcane trickster. Okay, so even though it's already been cast, doing anything with it is... Yeah. Okay. I just wasn't sure if the casting was the. I think both. I probably shouldn't have let you do anything with it last time, <laughs> but that's fine. Okay. Um. All right. So she's gonna take her chakra and throw it at uh, Snozberry. <laughs> she does not hit. Um. It's a ten. Okay. No, ten does not hit. Uh, another attack at um the mask. So now your chakram, your chakram's just like gone, right? I uh, imagine it like like is in the dirt somewhere. Okay, yeah, yeah, but I mean, like you don't. We didn't. It doesn't come back to me. We established that <laughs> okay. it is not a frisbee. All right, I'm just making sure. <laughs> yeah, or a boomerang. It's not a boomerang. <laughs> it's a frisbee. Well, maybe yeah, actively not a fucking boomerang. Quit asking. <laughs> <laughs> it's also not a scythe. <laughs> <laughs> Have you considered a scythe? Um, Belroth rolls a nineteen to hit. The a nineteen will hit. Sweet. Still my mortal foe. So extra damage again. Woo! Ma that is maximum damage rolled. Ladies and germs. Hell yeah. That is eight plus four plus three. So uh, yeah, he's dead. 
you sink that arrow right into his chest and he falls over dead. I guess I should have been targeting the chest the whole time, huh? Uh, the dwarf looks down at his now dead ally um, and uh, shouts over to the human. They reach down, they grab uh, the a pouch off of uh, his belt and run off uh, away from you. The component pouch? A different pouch. Okay. Can I st- there are still Should the other two are them? still in combat with you. They don't they haven't looked behind yeah, yeah. to see what's going on. Should we stop those guys? Um Okay, and Jiren like <laughs> flurries his hands together and Kamehameha's out the ray of frost. Okay. Uh to hit the one holding the pouch. Uh, and that is a 21 Ooh, to hit. It's always the one left holding the bag, you know? <laughs> They're yeah, the right. one who gets hit with a ray of frost. <laughs> yeah, that hits. Uh, that does max damage. That's eight. Oh, spicy. Okay. But in the cold uh, way. Yeah, he slows down running away. Yeah, uh, Deeran is going to pursue. <laughs> okay. Because he's also been hit by a ray of frost. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, like, once the caster dies, if that, like, no longer affects me, but... Um... Uh, no, it's, it's still on you. It's an, uh, it's an okay. elemental magic. It's still there. <laughs> I, I like the uh, chariots of fire happening right now. It's only until the start of my next turn. Oh, so you're good. You can run full speed. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I, I look like a fucking track star right now uh the first time Deeran has ever looked athletic in his life (laughs) you and you get almost to the dwarf who has the coin pouch um but not quite the half orc uh takes another swing at ellery (laughs) uh she spins around just misses ellery completely and is now just like opened her back to ellery uh and is looking over at the her fallen leader um both of the two fighters that are on you guys turn and look although the other one doesn't open themselves up quite the same way um you you killed our boss hey man you're welcome There's, fuck the ruling class, man. The uh, the human's like, this is not worth it. And he turns and flees. Uh, the half orc's like, what? where are you going? Uh, she's just still locked into this fight. Uh, go ahead, Belra. We, we don't need to fight you at all. I mean, the bounty's not on your head. We All will. Right. She sw- she swings back around and takes another swing at uh, Ellery. This time she hits. Uh oh. For six. Uh oh. Ellery's down. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> she succeeds. She's on a tear. <laughs> yep. And then Belroth, now without a short sword, uh just shoots more i would have just gone and charged but uh kind of moves towards ellery to try and protect her as best he can but obviously he has a ranged weapon so he just moves (laughs) forward and shoots uh another bow arrow okay uh 15 plus 5 30 20 i do not have any i don't think i have any more of those hunter thingies um so i guess that is just a bummer uh six seven eight nine nine damage oh no more arrows then leave no Deeran. uh yeah Deeran is going to pick up the uh the bag off that guy uh, oh yeah, because like, you ran over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm already there. I may as well. Uh, yep. So he's gonna grab the bag uh, and then turn uh, and flourish his hands out, firing off another ray of frost. Okay. That looks so badass in my head. Like, yeah, I want it to. 
yeah 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 it's like all flowy and yeah. like uh energy like absorbing or whatever uh that is a an 18 to hit Hits. yeah let's go uh she gets frosty for six damage you freeze her in place with your ray of frost just <laughs> shatters into pieces all over the ground oh well that was unnecessary anyway <laughs> and i quickly run over to ellery to try and do a medicine check to stabilize no, I, I think I got this. I understand. I, uh, now, okay, hold on. Let me open a book. I, I think I know where to do this. Ellery rolls her eyes on her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you are now stabilized. So roll a d4, Ellery. <laughs> so you are unconscious for two hours, Ellery. That is, okay. you will be unconscious for two hours. Oh, can we sled Ellery back to town next to the dead body of the... The, the the person we're trying to get. Uh, Deeran finishes checking the corpse of this other guy. Um, does he find anything else on him? No. So it looks like the pouch was the only thing of value. Um, okay. The the pouch had twenty gold in it, um, and was they were just like robbing <laughs> their boss <laughs> on their way. <laughs> I mean, Honor among thieves. Uh, yeah. And so then Deeran is going to stand up, uh, make his way back to the uh, the body of Snozglock, uh, and be like, uh, flip him over and like grab his component pouch. Yep. Um, does he have any like uh, a backpack with like spells or anything in it? Like Deeran saw him cast magic, and so he's like searching through to find like a spell book or something to figure out how he was doing it. Right. So, uh, you, you search through his pack, uh, like the pouch that he has, uh, no, you don't find any scrolls or spell books or anything like that on him. Uh, so you immediately rule out wizard. Uh, mm -hmm. you, does he have a wand? You don't find any wands. <laughs> no. <laughs> does he have a ring? No. So what you do find is that the mask, the wooden mask, has a symbol carved into the inside of the mask, right touching his head. Uh, the symbol is uh, a symbol for the Winterbone Court of, part of the Agrestal Spirit. Got it. Uh, and so I would be vaguely familiar, but not... Right. You would be, assume, you would recognize right, like, it, but maybe not have a big connection to it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you get the sense that this object was a spell casting focus and that whatever magic he was doing was more innate. Got it. Man. Um, so like we don't need this whole big body. We just need his, his head. Well, I dismembered a head before and, uh, you know, hard oh, chakram. I've only got this. And he pulls out a dagger. Oh, that's actually easier than a short sword. I wish I... It's much more tactical. And takes it and starts, like, carving the head very You really get into you it. Just get it. you got to put in your, your, your... Really, your elbows in. And then when you get to the spine... Deirin once you get to the it. spinal bone, you actually just have to twist and... And there you go. It's very easy to dissect a body. Yeah. He's been, like, off trying to find... Ellery's chakram while like while Deeran's like head down or while uh while Belroth is like head down focused and like explaining lecturing uh Deeran's gone. Once you get the mask off Belroth uh this is an orc. Like a orc orc? Like an orc. Not orc. like a half orc. Like an orc orc. <laughs> orc orc? Like an orc orc. Orc 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 orc. <laughs> Ork, 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 merge, 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 ork, ork, ork. Wow, this is an orc. He continues. This is an orc. A what? An orc. A what? An orc. Oh, an orc. A what? He's an orcish man. He's a what? He's a what? He's an orcish man. He sells clarinets to the kids in the town. No, he takes the money from the kids in the town. <laughs> That's why Music we had to orc. kill him, man. The <laughs> dumbest play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got 
trouble right here in Numerita. <laughs> uh, that worked too well. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, Deren helps load Ellery up onto the sled. Um, guys, I know we were supposed to like go back to Adventure Incorporated or uh, go back to Redbridge tonight, but like, I don't know. I think we should hit up spell slingers and recover yeah let's take the night let ellery recover from her wounds and regain consciousness and have a drink while we're at it i just like kick the door open basically like uh dragging the cart behind us smunch is at the bar um and wesley does not appear to be around at all oh um smunch can we get some i guess rooms and uh beers i have um i have two rooms available uh, well uh and uh belroth tries to like hoist uh ellery up and is like well we'll take one of them uh, like carries her up to the bed and just like plops her on top of the sheets yeah so it's the same room that wesley was in oh mm-hmm <clears throat> writes and then like puts her in bed writes a note we are at the bar if you wake up uh bell <laughs> if you wake up <laughs> yeah it... <laughs> <laughs> i hate how real that probably I know. is <laughs> everyone dm anthony here just reminding you that if you're enjoying the show tell your friends tell your family uh, let people know word of mouth and you can support the show at patreon.com slash adventure inc or you can check out the shop at adventuringpod.com slash shop make sure you check the show notes and the website for all our social media including our discord where you can come and hang out with some great people we'll see you there and until next week i wish you nothing but critical success